Hi, this is uh, part C of the short answer questions for the Oxford Maths Admissions Test from 2018. Uh, let A, B, C and D be real numbers. Two curved, y equals ax squared plus c and y equals bx squared plus d have exactly two points of intersection when which of the following uh, conditions apply. Um, so we can see we've, both, we've got two uh, parabolas here. They'd be straightforward to sketch, but I think I want to just go straight in here and try to solve them uh, algebraically if I can find where the intersections are, or if I at least start trying to find where the intersections are, I'll get some insight into the problem. They're in a nice form to do that. They're both y equals, so the x coordinates of their intersections will satisfy ax squared plus c equals bx squared plus d. Now, I've got a quadratic expression here, and so let's do what we'd usually do with a quadratic to put everything on one side and gather the terms together. So the x squared terms here would be a minus b times x squared plus uh, then c minus d is equal to zero. And so if I was solving this for x, uh, I mean, actually this is an easy quadratic, so I wouldn't use my usual quadratic methods here. I would move the c minus d to the right hand side and say I've got a minus b x squared uh, equals a minus c minus d or d minus c and then I divide by uh, a minus b, so I've got uh, x squared is d minus c divided by a minus b. Now when is this going to give me precisely two distinct real x values? Well, I've got to be able to take the square root of whatever I've uh, worked out here, so d minus c divided by a minus b is going to have to be uh, bigger than zero. Okay, so I need this to be strictly greater than zero. Uh, so if we think about the sign of the top and the sign of the bottom, that means either d minus c uh, and a minus b are both positive or they're both negative. And if we look at the conditions out of a, b, c, d and e, we can see that exactly e tells us this, right? So if here, if d minus c and a minus b uh, are both bigger than zero, uh, this quotient would be bigger than zero. So with this product, and if they're both negative, this quotient would be positive and so with this product. So this condition exactly matches with what we're looking for and that one must be the answer. I'll put the rest of the answers to the questions in a playlist and we'll link it below once they're all done.